Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how we can create a rainbow effect using the Unity particle system. So let's get started. So in this effect, we are going to use a 3D mesh. So for that purpose, I'm going to show you how to create a 3D uh, plane on Blender. Uh, Blender is a free open source software, so we are going to use this one. So I'm using Blender 2.9 2.0. You can use the latest version. There are pretty new latest versions out there, but uh, the working will be uh, almost similar. So I have this new scene. So let's click on general, uh, press A to select everything and press delete. After that, press shift A, select mesh and torus. Okay, now enter tab and uh, press a to unselect everything now go to view viewport and front you can see it from here now press b and select its lower bottom something like this and press delete and delete the vertices now select view, viewpoint and back, press B and select the or vertices, press delete and vertices and you can see the sides are deleted. Now we have to delete these one again. So press B and select these and delete, no, delete and vertices. Again, repeat the process delete and vertices and as you can see we have a shape like this one okay now view viewpoint top now this is something you can look at at this point and now press b and select half of it and delete and vertices and you should be left with this one now go to scale and change the scale to 100 on x y and z so this is what you need now export it as fpx maybe on desktop and this will be rainbow mesh Make sure these options are selected and export. Okay, now close your blender. You don't have to save it. We have this file here. Now open your Unity project and uh, drag and drop it into your Unity project. Okay, this is here. Now we have to drag and drop this mesh into our scene and you can see it's here. Reset its transform. Okay, don't reset it because it's going to be become very small. Okay. Rotate around nine zero. Rotate around zero degrees and something like this. Let's remove this plane and you can see it. Our camera is behind it so let's drag the camera and currently it's rotated on opposite side so let's rotate it on 180 degrees now you can see it properly okay next we have to draw a texture for it so what we have to do is we have to go to Photoshop file new and make a file of thousand by thousand pixels next we have to do is select a gradient tool and from here we are going to create a gradient uh, i would like some pastel colors so let's start from i don't exactly remember what colors we have in rainbow so let's start from here and a bit of pastel kind of color red let's see what colors does a rainbow have on Google? Let's copy it from here. 
um, this one then we have this one put it here Currently there are only six colors, so let's see how they look. Okay, I think they're a bit too light, so let's change them to our liking. I'm bringing them a bit ahead. So at least we can see the colors properly. Now we have to draw the gradient press shift so that it is drawn in a line no just drag it to the half of the screen or here okay now save this as a PNG on the desktop and rename it to rainbow texture save it now go back to unity and drag and drop this texture now we have a material we have to create a material and rename it to rainbow underscore mat now go to legacy shaders particles alpha blended drag and drop your texture here and drop it on your mesh okay we have to make some changes to our material we have to change the tiling and offset and I think we have made a mistake here small mistake go back to Photoshop and rotate this texture on 90 degrees drag and drop it back to your texture and now we have to make some tilings change this value to whatever you like one change them to two three four five six and you can change it to whatever you like I think the value of three is great so that's it so this is how you create a rainbow using Unity and a Blender and Photoshop. So I hope this tutorial was pretty easy to do. Uh, you, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. We will see you in a new video. Goodbye.